Brady. So, quick update on the car. It's going to be, like, sh super short. Um, not a lot that's going to get done. Um, other than pulling the turbo off. And that's just one, two, three, four bolts. Um, maybe not anything I need. I just need to measure and the inlet and outlet for the turbine. And order of a new turbo um yeah everyone was right this turbo is a little too big um another issue with the sidewinder kits is airflow so the 6266 can flow in the stock location when it's sitting up like this i don't get any um movement up here so it's just not moving at all and that is kind of a problem and if you look here, it's a lot of shaft play. So this was used. Um, it's not the worst thing in the world. I'll just get a turbo that can spool just a little quicker, um, a little more efficiently for the car. Just because right now, at least it's just not spooling at all which is very unfortunate just because my old rsx um had a 62 66 on the stock block and it was fine with 450 400 but i'm gonna go with the g25 550 um so that means that i can use the oil feed the oil drain but i'm gonna have to go ahead and do a 6 a.m uh, water cools because it is also going to be uh water cooled so i gotta run those so i did order up some fittings i just don't really show them and everything but other than that three and a half inch on the back here and a three inch here so we're gonna have to match up the turbo for that which is going to be difficult for a smaller turbo to have three and a half three inch unless i buy a turbo with and then cut it up or weld on which I don't want to do. I just want to go full straight up. Um, so I definitely got to do some research here. Um, but yeah, three and a half inches, three inches. So that's what we got over there. Um, the next is I'm going to take some fittings that I bought and match them up to my cool my system right now so my cooling system is currently looped with a banjo bolt so i'm gonna have to pull that off yeah i'm gonna pull that off and then i'm gonna go ahead and match up that fittings i think i have extra banjo bolts in there so i'm make sure i got the right threads and i'll show you guys those fittings all right so this is the uh banjo bolt for the coolant in the back of the motor uh the feed so this is what's going to run from the back of the motor to the turbo, to the new turbo. So this is the 6AN fitting or the adapter that will run it. And I'm pretty sure that this is going to fit. It matches up pretty good. That matches up really good. So, this should fit it. If this doesn't fit it, I don't know what the fuck size it is, but I guess this is it right here. If I can focus, hold on. So it's 6 a.m., 14 by 1.5. That is it right there. And I can link that down below 
if anybody's doing anything similar. And then I just bought, I'm not going to do, uh, I don't think I'm going to do a crush washer. Just because like these boots. Apologize for the wind. I think that's what I'm going to do there. So these should work. I have no doubt. The next fitting I bought this right here, which is the same spec. And what this is going to do is this is a 6 a.m. adapter. Let me go ahead and try to open this thing. Uh, so, on a lot of the turbo setups, the aftermarket big turbo setups that you buy, it uses barb fittings to an adapter. So it's basically the same idea that I'm going with here is that this line, where am I? Uh, right through there. It's the coolant drain, uh, drain, if you will. So this is gonna stick on to the hose clamped and I'm gonna run a another 6AN line uh, on the drain side of the turbo. So that's kind of the plan there. Um, it should work. Like I said, it's done on like a lot of the GTX turbos for these cars. Um, I don't see an issue with it, especially if you get that barbed fitting like this. It's important that that's what is bought there. You don't want something that's straight. I think I have one in there that is straight, but it's important to get the barbed. And that's just going to loop over and go there. Very, very short run. Um, and it should, it should work fine. So it's just basically two more runs that I have to do. And it should be fine. Damn, Miss Wendy is a motherfucker. So that's pretty much all I'm doing um, today. And then I got my spark plugs that I need to gap. I got two sets just because. But that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, this is the one I was talking about to kind of avoid right here. Um, it doesn't really have that barbed fitting. It just has like that end. That end. I would try to avoid those. I bought these just for length purposes, just in case. But I think I'm going to stick with the barbed fitting. And then, ooh. This is the brand. And again, I can link that below. So that's pretty much it. So that's pretty much the update for this car. Um, you guys were right. The turbo's a little too beefy. It's not spooling as quick. Well, not quick at all. Um, yeah, it is horrid. And I, I don't know, it's got a weird flapping noise to it. So, you know, most of the car is like new parts and stuff like that. I don't feel like going rebuilding this again. So, you know, going with the smaller turbo. Like I said, you guys were right on that, you know, but I just had to give it a try. So we're going to go with a, like I said, smaller turbo, quicker spool. We'll just update the tune and we should be going. Boring video, but literally just an update video um, because I'm put, I already ordered the turbo and now I'm just waiting for it to come in. So that's pretty much it. That's that is pretty much it. So as soon as I get the turbo, um, I have 90% of the fittings. I just need my two V line, my V line, and my drain line for the coolant, just because we are going from oil cooled only to oil and water cooled. So that's pretty much it. Um, once I get those fittings in and everything like that, everything will be updated. Peace out, guys.